Hey guys, welcome to Damage Reviews and Opinions, and today um, I will be reacting to and reviewing, no, not reviewing, um, analyzing Ruby TV uh, Season 2, Episode 7 and, no, not 7, 8, that was my last episode, um, 9 and 10, which is Coming Home to Roost and Cool Dad. If I've got my, if I got my, if I've gotten straight out, that should be it. So, uh, let's, yeah, Coming Home to Roost is 9, and then Cool Dad is number 10. So, uh, let's get started with this. Hold on. Desktop body is on. You said, now that's a katana. Get new jokes, Yang. Mm. Guys, shut up! I just got the most incredible news! What is it? Uncle Crow's coming to visit! <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't wait! Your Easy. Uncle Crow? Isn't he the drunk loudmouth? He prefers reckless rogue. He's super cool. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> I suppose there are worse role models out there. I mean, he's definitely cool, but I'm not sure I'd go as far to say role model. I'm telling him you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your Uncle Crow? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> He's really cool. <laughs> Equality for fondness! Equality for fondness! Save the day! No homework on weekends! More homework on weekends! Who realizes that there are more homework on weekends? This is just how this is just how I do it. I don't want it. I don't want it. She's gonna do it. Go, 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 go. I don't feel good about it. Come on. <laughs> Weiss, I'm taking you out to dinner tonight. Wear something pretty and don't be late. Okay. That's it. Now you're being a Yang man. What weird thing are you guys doing? Yang's my new life coach. She's teaching me to get what I want by being more assertive. Stop. Zai. More. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Don't. The Grammy should have killed him. How about a little appetizer before dinner? Ew, I changed my mind. <laughs> Uh, okay, message received. May have gone too far. Can someone let me out, please? Yeah, he's not ready to be a young man. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Swan! Read the sign. Okay. Next episode. <sighs> uh, not girls is what we call rolling snake eyes. Oh yeah, look at that. They look like little eyes. Oh, cute. Hey guys, what's going on? Up top. Uncle Crow is teaching us important life lessons. What kind of life lessons is he teaching you? <laughs> you know, like, love is for suckers and rules are for fools. Wait, what? And never get caught cheating because it's only cheating if you get caught. <gasps> Crow, what are you telling my <laughs> girls? It's a harsh world out there, Ty. I'm just teaching them what they need to know. Uh, I've already taught them everything they need to know about justice, honor, and maintaining excellent oral hygiene. Great job, girls. It's okay, Dad. You can teach us all the boring stuff, and Uncle Crow can teach us all the cool stuff. But I'm cool, too. I'm a cool dad, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dad. Wait, were you serious? But I have a tattoo and sweet cargo shorts. Yeah, that's adorable. Come on, girls. Let's go set off some uh, illegal fireworks. <laughs> that's why. He was wild, Lisa! I can do anything Crow can do. Blah, blah, blah. 
break all the rules. <clears throat> Look at my messy hair that I spend an hour every day styling. Hey, bartender, give me another drink. It's been two minutes since my last one. Okay, what is going on here? A fake geist grim. No. Huh? Yo, dude, back from the gym. I am sweaty. Gonna hop in the shower. Sounds good. Ducky! You have to wake me up for that. I don't care. The geist grim. <laughs> And that's why you never tell a cute waitress your real name. <laughs> Dad? Since when do you skateboard? <laughs> I've been skateboarding for years. I guess you just didn't notice because I'm so chill about it. That's why you can stop now. That's why. Stop. Whoa! <laughs> Girls, mm -hmm. check this out. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so much hurting. I ain't trying to be cool, it ain't working. Hey, who's that weird guy staring at us? Yeah, I used to have some pretty <sighs> sick moves when I was younger. You want me to teach you my sick moves? No, that's okay, Dad. <laughs> Dad, are you okay? Why are you acting so weird lately? I know how much you girls look up to your Uncle Crow because he's so cool. I just want you to think that I'm cool too. Well, dads aren't supposed to be cool. <laughs> They're supposed to be dads. Yep. And you're the best dad in the whole world. You really mean that? Yeah, that's way better than being cool. Now please, stop trying to get yourself killed. <laughs> well, I guess I did all right if I raised girls like you. Well, my work here is done. But you didn't really do anything? Didn't I, Rabbit Girl? Didn't I? My name's Velvet. <laughs> Rabbit <don't> Girl. <laughs> oh! <my. sighs> oh, no, no good. Hey. They keep moving those things too fast nowadays. They gotta slow. You guys, Richie, you gotta slow these credits down here. So if I've gotta pause it to see the title of the little skit you did, then it's going too fast. So we got cool uncle and clean behind the ears. Cool, cool dad. Cool tie. It's not. It's it, it's cool dad. I think all the stuff he was trying to pull in cool dad was worse than tie dye shirt. Let's start off with episode nine. Come on, Zwan. No, hurry up! You're playing the wrong video. Why? And she said, "Now that's a katana." <laughs> Oh my gosh. That was from. Uh, I think that was like episode 2 of the original Chibi season 1. I think that was like episode 2 or 3. And it's been used so much. It's so old. It's been overused. Used like 3 or 4 more times in season 2. No, season 1. Let me see. That was Prank Wars. When Weiss pranked um, Ruby with a bucket of ice water that was not ice, it was pure straight up ice because she froze it just before she got in there. And then there was when Ruby looked at the book, I saw the centerfold and down at Tikatana. And uh don't think there's anywhere else. I know it's a I know it's also a gun is like one of the oldest memes that Ruby's ever created, but it's never been used that much. Get new jokes, Yang. Yes, please. Do. Guys, shut up! I just got the most incredible news. What is it? Uncle Crow's coming to visit! Oh my god! 
gosh! I okay, Ruby just did a ping. No, not a ping pong. Um, pinball move. Can't wait. <laughs> Your uncle Cross Max this one the pain. Drunk loudmouth. He prefers reckless rogue. He's super cool. All the time. Okay, he is his window the I two times. There are worse role models out there. I mean, he's definitely cool, but I'm not sure I'd go as far to say role model. I'm telling him you said that. <laughs> okay. Girl comes in, walks back out, and then flies Is back. That your uncle Crow? And then flies back in. Okay. This right here proves what we've all, what the whole Ruby community has been theorizing since we saw that in Volume 4. Volume 4. He can turn into a flippin' crow! We have been theorizing that since, um. Oh, when was it? I thought it was since Volume 4, but I think it was a little bit before that. No, it has to be Volume 4, because that's the first time we see him be in crow form. That just proves he can turn into a crow. Or, is Kruby messing with us? Are they? Are they? But if this proves what we've all been theory for the past year on crow, that he can turn into a crow and turn back from it, then that's gotta be something. I mean, they, they, they don't, I mean, it may be just as a joke, but it might be something that it has to do with his semblances or and all that other stuff. But it might be a part of his semblance and we just don't know it until now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the movie dumps him out. He's really cool. Out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, no more curfew, down with vegetables. We want pizza? Equality for Faunus. Oh, if this guy here were to die, most of the Vale would go bankrupt. He owns not close to 90% of all the shops and restaurants in Vale. Save the bees, no homework on weekends, no homework on weekends. He's still get he's getting mad for all this protest. No homework on weekends. More homework on weekends. Okay, you see Ublek, Port. We don't see Port until now. This is the first instance of Port in a chibi. Right here. Right here. And then you get Weiss with, also Weiss with, more homework on weekends. Weiss, what is your problem? And then also you got, okay. More people that want more homework on weekends. More people that don't want homework on weekends. Okay, yeah. This is just how I talk. Yeah, that's true. She's never done that. She's never had a real voice. She's never had a single voice, actors. So she's just blank mouthed. Um. So she, so she doesn't have a voice. There's the theory there that she did fight. Uh, Yang's mom, Raven, and lost her voice, but I don't know how true the theory would be, but Neo talking like this, she's only talked like this in Chibi, and it's a reference oh, to Wild E. Coyote from Looney Tunes, that's what, it's, it's a reference to that but she's only talked this way in Chibi, in season 1 you see her talk that way, and I think it was Roman's Revenge was the episode where that happened was the little skit where she's talked like that. But she doesn't talk like that in the normal series. In the normal sh Ruby series, she does not talk like that. She just takes orders. No. Just don't kiss. No. I don't feel good about it. Come on. Okay, Yang is kind of a forceful person, but I'm surprised she didn't use her gauntlets on him. And shoot him that way. Weiss, I'm taking you out to dinner tonight. Wear something pretty and don't be late. Okay, that's it. Now you're being a Yang man. What weird thing are you guys? Okay, I know that this is gonna come. I know I'm probably gonna be saying this almost every chibi review and analysis episode I do, but I'm already seeing a, a lot of the trailer. In the first nine episodes, like close to about half of the trailer, I think it was like the first six is almost to the half, most to have, most to like about half the trailer. 
doing? Yang's my new life coach. She's teaching me to get what I want by being more assertive. Stop. This so one just takes orders. More. Like a good dog. <laughs> okay. Those first two incidents, those first two incidents, it's a dog and someone who's serving you food. The dog listens because it's a dog. The guy who's serving you food serves you more food. Because that's his job! Don't need no stupid life coach for that. Don't. The grim, you can just kill it before it pees. Now, how about a little appetizer? Okay. This is where he messes up. Weiss. Trying it on Weiss. Ugh, that would probably be his uh, worst mistake. Um. Because Weiss said yes. Don't go any further than that. Okay, don't press your luck, Sean. Before dinner. And he presses his luck. Ew, I changed my mind. Smart move, Weiss. Smart move. Uh, okay, message received. May have gone too far. Okay. He shouldn't be able to speak or move his eyes if he's in an ice capsule! Even one Weiss created. Can someone let me out, please? Yeah. He's not ready to be a Yang man. <sighs> yeah. Okay, you would think this wise people would start melting the hole. Right there! It would start melting the hole because P is kind of hot. That makes sense. Comes out warm. <laughs> no, I'm not sounding that way, it's just that it does. Especially when you're on a campfire and you pee outside because there's no pork hands. And you see the smoke coming up from the pee from where you peed. Yeah. Pee's warm. Okay, coming home to roost, read the sign, and life coach. Now, life coach, it worked until he pressed his luck. It worked until he pressed his luck. Zwei, yeah, I mean, come on, he's a dog. He's supposed to listen. He's been trained to be obedient <clears throat> to anyone he likes, I guess. I think he still does it for, uh, I think he does it for Blake, though. Um, the guy serving him food, I mean, duh, he's going to give you more. He's serving you food. Common sense, people. I'm just using common sense to rip this life coach apart. Now, the Grim, you just kill it. I mean, it's not going to pee and listen to you tell it not to pee. It's going to kill you and then pee on your body. Next. That pulls up. Okay, good. Uh, and that girls is what we call rolling snake eye. Okay, now Crow is one of the characters I was I wasn't gonna think was gonna be on the Chibi. I mean, not not because it's not his personality or something, but I thought that he would never get on the Chibi because he's not in Ruby that often. He he hasn't been like one of those main characters until volume four and we don't and we don't get to meet him till volume three. He doesn't get to become a main to volume four. Well not main at volume four, um wrong time wrong part of the timeline. Um oh I wanted to say like the Battle of Beacon is where he becomes a main character or something like that where he comes in a lot. But that's only because he's there because of the little inner circle of their inner circle that no one is supposed to know about, but yeah, we need the audience to know about it. Oh yeah, look at that! They look like little eyes. Oh, cute. Hey guys, what's going on? Up top. No, just no. Uncle Crow is teaching us important life lessons. 
What kind of life lessons is he teaching you? You know, like, love is for suckers and rules are for fools. Wait, what? And never get caught cheating because it's only cheating if you get caught. <gasps> now, that is true, but it's still cheating! Crow, what are you telling my girls? It's a harsh world out there, Ty. I'm just teaching them what they need to know. Okay, this glass is not correct. It should be a flask. Uh, I've already taught them everything they need to know about justice, honor, and maintaining excellent oral hygiene. Great job, girls. It's okay, Dad. You can teach us all the boring stuff, and Uncle Crow can teach us all the cool stuff. But... but that's what Dad is supposed to do, but sometimes it makes it a little of the cool stuff. Come on. I'm cool too. I'm a cool dad, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dad. Wait, were you serious? But I cool that. <sighs> I just realized a pun that Yang might use in the future, and I hope I hope Ruby Kruby does not use this one. If they have, if they, if they either have used it and haven't posted the video yet, or they're fixing to use it. Cause Jane is so hot headed, I, I think she needs to cool off. Become a cool gang. I have a tattoo. And sweet cargo shorts. Yeah, that's adorable. Basketball shorts Come are cooler. Guys. Let's go set off some uh, illegal fireworks. That's why even the dog leaves him. That is sad. I can do or he just wants to be with Ruby. Blah, blah, blah. Break all the rules. <clears throat> Look at my messy hair that I spend an hour every day styling. Hey, bartender, give me another drink. It's been two minutes since my last one. <laughs> <laughs> it burns. Okay, that drink, if it landed on the floor. Hold on, let me see if I can back it up. Hold on. an hour every day styling. Hey bartender, give me another drink. It's been two minutes since my last one. Okay. There should be a lot bigger puddle, and this glass should be about maybe about there because it just falls out. It doesn't roll as fast as I gotta go. It burns! Geist Grimm. It wants enough food for some reason. Huh? Yo, dude, back from the gym. I am sweaty. Gonna hop in the shower. Sounds good. Okay. That is Neptune's ducky. He's got the glasses right there. Cause those are his glasses right there. Why see, see, those are the glasses that are on Neptune. I don't care. And even the Grimm is scared of him. And that's why you never tell a cute waitress your real name. <laughs> Dad? Since when do you scare- Okay, he was nervous. You can tell by the by his eyes just be first like, <gasps> let me go! I mean, he's essentially just wakeboarding with the dog pulling him. Skateboard. I've been skateboarding for years. Okay, he skateboarded when he did the tie-dye shirt joke. It's just a notice because I'm so chill about it. Zwei, you can stop now. Zwei, stop. Whoa! A cat and Zwei goes faster! How come Ruby can get him off of other stuff, but Ty can't even get it? Oh, wait, that's right. Ruby is his owner. Das Speedo. Check this out! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Talk about a belly flop! Slip, hit. No, it's slip, hit, hit, flop. So much hurting. Yo, duh, it's called a belly flop for a reason. Okay, if I remember correctly, the song that is currently being played slowly. And that is rock is bad luck charm, which is essentially the song that uh, that was on during the Cone Tyrion fight. Hey, you're 
that guy staring at us? Yeah, I used to have some pretty <sighs> sick moves when I was younger. You want me to teach you my sick moves? No, that's okay, Dad. <laughs> that was like, Dad? <laughs> she had like, the what? That's your dad face? Are you okay? Why are you acting so weird lately? I know how much you girls look up to your Uncle Crow because he's so cool. I just want you to think that I'm cool too. Well, dads aren't supposed to be cool. They're supposed Some dads to be are cool. dads. And you're the best dad in the whole world. You really mean that? Yeah, that's way better than being cool. Now please, stop trying to get yourself killed. <laughs> well, that would mean he would have to also quit fighting Grim. And start teaching the signal full time and never go fight, go on another mission again. I guess I did all right if I raised girls like you. <laughs> well, my work here is done. But you didn't really do anything? <laughs> didn't I, rabbit girl? Didn't I? My name's Velvet. <laughs> I don't <laughs> care. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, that's bad luck charm. Okay, hold on, that song? Yeah, I don't know what it's called, but it was at the end of volume four. It wasn't armed and ready. It was when Ruby was riding the ladder to Yang. This was that ladder. And we see what everyone is planning. We got Weiss headed to Haven. No, Mistral. Mistral. And as we saw in the, uh... Uh, oh, what is it? Oh, the character, yeah, the character short. Uh, that she uh, also was so on her way to Haven. It looks like she didn't make much progress, though, but she did get a good napping if she was dreaming about that. She did get a good napping. So either that airship's very slow, stopped, or something else, or... She fell asleep pretty fast. Those are like really the only options we have right now. But. Um. Um. So before, before I get really way off topic here. I'm going to end it. Because I'm going to probably be rattling off for another 20 minutes. And it's our, as I'm already at like. I'm right at 28 minutes on this video. I'm right at 28 minutes. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. If you're new, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell because sometimes I do a live stream. Sometimes I'll live stream. Um, now, today is Monday the 24th. Um, so, I'm hoping today we get either get the Blake or Yang uh, character short. Um, I'm probably gonna, yeah this is gonna be going up today, like a couple of hours today. Um, so I hope we get that. Um, so thank you for watching and uh, if you I'm not probably gonna be repeating myself. I don't remember if I've said it already. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Uh, uh, also hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a live stream because sometimes I'll do an emergency live stream. Um, I did one when uh, the Weiss character short went up. And about an hour after it went up, I hit, I went live. I was live about an hour after it went up. So, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.